So, uh, it's the same bunch of people here. It yeah. is. Well, but we are in it. That. Yeah, this is also, Lee is also the face of Ibanez. Is that what you call him? Ibanez. Ibanez. Uh, in the UK. <laughs> so, he's going to show us around uh, the Ibanez stand. Ibanez yeah. stand. Ibanez. So, what's going on? See. Si. Okay. Uh, <laughs> See. <laughs> si. This is going to go. It's going to be a car crash. It's going to yeah. be a car crash. I hope so. Okay. <laughs> So, I mean, there's so much to see here. We're going to just yeah, dip crazy. in and out of a few little bits and pieces for you. Um, we have uh, a new noodle signature. We also have, which is really, really, I mean, this is exciting. That's very cool, isn't it? No, but what's really exciting to me is the fact that Yvette Young from Covert is now an Ibanez artist and she's got a brand new signature guitar. She's an incredible player. We had Yvette in um, for Captain Meat. Absolutely. Uh, so if you want to go and check that, we'll try to put a link in the description. And yeah. she was playing uh, like a proto yeah, or something. she's, she's, like, an, I can't she's talk an incredible about musician, brilliant artist as well. Yeah. This is going to come if you buy one of these with um, artwork that she's created. It's just such a, you know, great. She's so awesome. She's just an awesome. That's yeah. it. That's Boom. the best way to describe yeah. it at this time Talented. in the morning. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, Tolman's great. She's a really great ambassador for them. So I know Ibanez and I certainly am really happy to have her on board. UK folk, we will probably get her over for some clinics, certainly oh, cool. at Anderton's yep, and all that absolutely. this year, hopefully. Yeah. So uh, look out for that. I love that So that's shape. the new Yvette Young, what super a nice, sexy sparkle finish. Slime green. This is a really classy um, guitar AZ uh, from the guys at Polyphia. It's probably my favourite of the Polyphia boys signatures. Yeah, it's lovely. Just looks super classy. Was that rope? But these aren't new, maple? these, yeah, the, the typical AZ. Mm -hmm. You know attributes yeah. what is the bridge pickup because it looks like it's a smaller humbucker yeah, no these are all still uh well actually these are di di uh, la, 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 la. dimensions <laughs> no they're not dimensions these are dimarzio uh, yeah <laughs> so these guys are dimarzio artists um larry dimarzio's done a lot of work with them you've seen some probably incredible videos that larry makes and pictures uh, and so he's designed their pickups these guys are dimarzio through and through so uh, there's loads of stuff online about these specific uh, pickups, but they are their signature pickups as well. THBB, so for Tim Henson, and uh, Scott Laplage signature as well. And uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm slow today. Okay. <laughs> loads of others. So the two uh, Chon guys. These are available now in the, in the UK for sure. Nice. What I like that. about a lot of the signature models, certainly with the AZ. Well, you, you're not getting something that's so far removed from the original guitar that yeah. you're like only a fan of that person would play it. Yeah. These are all super player. I mean, I could I happily go in and, and do function band stuff. No, absolutely. And yeah, yeah. Feel really 100%. quite classy playing a guitar like that. Yeah. So, and then we've got the man, the myth, the legend, the ATZ 100. That, Matt oh, Finnish sat in now, isn't it? Oh yeah. This is a stunning, stunning guitar. In fact, I'm lucky that I get first dibs on a lot of these to demo. Yeah, and then I was, I was like, oh, "All of these, I'm doing this one. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's absolutely beautiful guitar. Yeah, as you'd expect from Andy. Here's the rub, though. It is an AZ, but no dynamics, ten or nine switch. Andy likes to keep it simple, and obviously these are Dimarzio pickups as well. So, so it's a five way. Yeah, Dimarzio Cruiser pickups, different bridge as well. So not the not the. Stuff oh yeah, that it's weird. It's missing like two screws in there. Yeah. It looks cool, man. These are, if you get a chance to play these guitars or you, you know, a fan of the original stuff, it's a stunning guitar. But you, it's what Andy plays, so... Yeah. If it's good Andy's enough for Andy, Andy... Oh, yeah. It's good enough for you. All it's right. good enough for everybody. The legend that is Marco Svogli. This came out last year. It's a lovely finish. Again, Marco didn't go, didn't want the Dynamics 10 or 9 switch. So it still feels like a, an AZ, but it's a different kind of guitar, really, just because of the switching system. Uh, Marco's incredible. If you've never, if you don't know who Marco is, you need to check him out. Yeah. All these guys are from the JTC Jam Track Central World. Obviously, I've got my good friend Tom. This yeah. is the great thing about this monkey pod, which is just like yeah. the most funny. I've always said it looks like David it's Dickinson's like a leg. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Mogwai pre-water. Um, every single one of these is unique because uh, the wood is completely unique. Yeah. So if you've got this particular one, there'd be nobody with this finish yeah. and Tom gets really really excited about them because people will buy one wherever in the world and yeah. send him a picture and he'll be yeah. like oh my god that's the most beautiful one I've ever seen yeah. <laughs> and then another one comes in like, oh I don't know that's even better so yeah. if you own one of these you own a you know a really unique instrument yeah then you've got Martin's guitar um, which Martin wanted a mahogany body so that was the, the you know the very first one that was a, a movement away from either older or basswood 
for pre Prestige and Premium. It's probably, I'm going to say sorry to Tom here, but this is probably my favourite signature AZ. Oh, right. It's, it's closer to what that kind of stuff that I like to do. Yeah. Um, it's a stunning guitar. Beautiful stunning. finish. Yeah. And also, we've had both of these guys in, in the video, so if yeah, you want to check September. that out, go and check it out. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. So, moving on. Yeah. We've now got a lefty. It's got some new stuff. Great. Lefties are awesome. Southpaws out there, big up. Yeah. And then we've got uh, a load of new finishes, basically, okay. on the AZs. Um, so, AZ Prestige and AZ Premium. The Prestige have a different kind of technique that's applied to the roasting of the neck. So we're going to get very serious now, but what they do is they bake it at a very specific temperature and they add nitrogen into the mix, so they call it S-Tech. So all the Prestige are S-Tech and that's why it's darker. It's very if dark. you saw in the Laney videos me playing my prototype AZ, yeah. they were, it was about as dark as this the neck was because they yeah. were trying to get it right. Now they've got it bang on. So all the Prestige guitars, you can almost look on the wall and go, that's a Prestige, that's a premium, just by the yeah, darkness yeah, by the color. of there. Other than that, you've got an older body okay. as against a, a basswood body for the premiums. But on the premium models, still stainless steel frets. Da -da 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 -da. All of the kind yeah. of the points are the same. These are titanium saddles on the, pre on the Prestige and stainless steel on the premium. All the switching still the same. No changes to switching. But what's cool is all the new finishes and for something mm. new, a lot of people asked for a 22 fret yes. but with double humbucker. Yes. Because in previously you could only get the 24 with the double humbucker or I the see. 22 with HSS. Yeah. Now you get the you know the uh, 22 more with the double humbucker. Can't These get up are here. covered pickups but they're still the Hyperion Seymour Duncan. Okay. Which are great. Switching still the same. So it's a Dynamics 10 on the double humbucker, Dynamics 9 on the HSS. That's so a good colour. Like, yeah, they're, they're some bit of sparkly. Colors. My favourite, so I mean I like the white one. This is super classy. Yeah, yeah. It's a super classy guitar. Again. Yeah. You can say it's hanging on a, the wall. You know what I'm saying? Wall. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just I can't like the I'm not really a fan of cover pickups mainly. More you know, but these, this one's particularly nice. Yeah. It just looks it looks really great. nice guitar. So yeah, and then you've got the Lovely green one, seafoam green, mm. which is exactly so. If you if you're a fan of the gems, you know, the seafoam green one came out the same colour. Yeah, and you can see how dark that neck is. In comparison, really. Nice. I'm loving this deep espresso burst next to it oh, on the left there. Yeah, yeah. What do you oh, think yeah, of the like gold a hardware? Table. Really? I'm all about that. Yeah, about that? You like good. the bling. I'm like a bit of bling. It's like it's a bit bling, but it's also it's it's like Tasteful more class bling. than bling. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like yeah. You haven't got a ring on every finger. Exactly. <laughs> You should have. Should have, yeah. Boom. That so, I mean, I think I think their AZs are here to stay. I think, you know, more variations will happen over time as people want different things. Or maybe a, a signature model comes out with a, a new appointment on it. Yeah, yeah. Who knows? Can I ask a question? Yeah. My question is, the headstock shape, mm. is it referencing an older Ibanez headstock shape? Maybe this has been answered before and I'm just unaware. But I feel, is it... A new headstock design for the series, or is it something they're bringing no, back to pay homage? I'll tell you why, because when this is the, the the wonderful humility of this brand is this: when they came, they randomly asked me in the UK and, and a few and to, uh, Martin in Germany and Marco in Italy before Tom came into the into the mix and said, "Look, why don't you play one of our more pointy guitars when you're doing like country stuff?" And they're like, "Well, this, that, and the other," and also feel a bit daft with a pointy guitar playing that stuff and like, oh so what would you do just, just round the edges up a bit so right. it really is like an aesthetic thing um, just to kind of give it a more I don't know a, a less pointy vibe that's yeah. great that's really it nice reminds of me of that yeah. so and what the, the beauty of it is is they took everybody's points yeah and then they didn't just go oh well that's great but we're gonna make this they actually doing okay there's the guitar yeah, yeah everything you've asked for there it is but it still does remind me of the old back to the future when he's playing yeah in yeah the, you know that's the kind of headstock kind of that he has stuff. On. Yeah, what was yeah. that called again uh, 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 roadster yeah that's yeah, it were, yeah, yeah, some, or whatever yeah. it was what is this here but it's just spotting this maple or whatever and then with a what's that oh right that's okay so you still got roasted maple, maple neck. neck and fretboard. Oh, so it's just. But this is what I was saying about this is a le premium. Least, and so like, let me clear, let me ah, clear something ah. up for people who you know we've got you get an, an RG seven nine six seven five one two B B Z F X T S R. The best way to look at the AZ range, if you want to kind of know which one's the premium, which one's the prestige. Yeah. If you can't spot it from the necks, is just to look at the numbers. 
So if it's got three numbers, like 226, yeah. it's a premium. Okay. If it's got four numbers, it's a prestige. That's super light, that one. Yeah. So still, so these are still roasted maple necks, but the difference is that S-Tech thing I was telling you about, where they add... Super light. They add the uh, the nitrogen into the mixture, and it's a very specific temperature they okay. make. So they all kind of be different, kind of? Yeah. Some of them. Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah, so we've got some more... Uh, some Speed more, up! Some more premiums here. And Wonderful. This, this kind of poplar burl finish is something that's obviously crept into the AZs. They, yeah. they were in the uh, the RG premiums and stuff. Quite a popular. It's, it's, it's quite in it's, now. It's, yeah, it's yeah, quite it's, in it's now. Really we, popular. When we get right over now. to the RG premiums <laughs> around the corner, um, you'll see that they are super, super <laughs> popular. Uh, super, super popular. <laughs> Come on, man! All right, let's go, let's go around these the corner. These are so popular. <laughs> We've actually got one of these over on the. Uh, Laney Boots that is very cool play. it's a lovely colour isn't it yeah I'm not actually sure what the name of that is like salmon pink isn't it it's like, it's like close to the old school Fiesta Red vibes but yeah. it's like a bit more salmon you're right yeah, yeah. salmon salmon yeah Ella <laughs> so the thing, right. thing is about a lot of these guitars and I suppose it's the same for anything at NAMM when you get like catalogue leaks and things like that and you start to see pictures come out they're never quite the same sometimes they can be poorly shot Sometimes it's a, someone taking a photograph of a picture and they go, oh, I don't like the look of this. Yeah. You have to see these things oh, you in have the to. flesh. Absolutely. That's what I, online's great, but go into stores. But the flesh is Go and better. have a look at these things as well. So that's all, that's the AZs. Okay, premium models. Yeah. So we're, we're in the Ibanez maze. There's a lot, you know, this is a big booth, sort of wandering around, there's a lot to see. I'm just giving you a little taste of it. These are the new RG premium uh, models. They're always, always popular guitars, but this year they've really gone all out. And what they're, what they're trying to do is raise the, the uh, appointments on a lot of these guitars. So you, I, you might be able to pick it up on camera, but who knows? You've got Jazz Car Evo Gold Frets, which are kind of like a, they're like, almost like a brass, um, a bit like the Mar some of the Martin guitars that came out a while ago. So what you're starting to see is some of the higher, I mean, this, this is unheard of on a premium. Some of the prestige level stuff is trickling down now into these guitars. You've got all the Lumin Lay stuff that you know that first came out on the AZs. That's kind of going through all the ranges now. Damasio Fusion Edge pickups, and then these really gorgeous finishes. Tropical Sea Floor. This one is called. Is that bare knuckle loaded? Uh, no. Is these, it not? These are Damasio covered Fusion Edge. Ah. Yeah. So great pickups, but this you know it kind of looks suits the aesthetic, doesn't it? From that Absolutely. Uh, Three-way toggle, and uh, call tap. I like the. Uh, the full frontal binding we got going on here. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm yeah. all about that. I, I put. I did a video for this one. It's a, it's a stunning, stunning guitar. All of these guitars you get in either monorail or Floyd. So it depends on your preference, really. That's that such is, a sharp edge. Yeah. How do they manage that, to do that? Typical RG stuff, but it shows you the uh, the craftsmanship. But even wow. just at premium level, which is an Indonesian-made, you know, guitar. We've got seven-string model there. Um, the great thing about these guitars, and they're in the, the insane. Oh. There's an 11 piece neck, which is just like stability is incredible. Because 10 is just not because, enough. Because reasons. Yeah. You know? <laughs> just wow. because. That's crazy. Yeah. The, the workmanship's incredible. And you can yeah. see for all of you guys who like to put a fat 010101 gent, you've got the <laughs> thicker. <laughs> 010101 gent. Yeah, yeah. Did you know that is so funny. That's, that's proof of like the times have changed. Now, yeah, yeah, now they're creating string through bodies for people that play strings that are fatter than bass strings. <laughs> you know? Go with the go with the flow. So this you can one, see. Look at so, this neck here. Oh, yeah, Sorry, I know you're going to move no, 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 over. No. But the thing about that is, this is this thing that's running through the centre is is purple, purple heart. heart. Just stunning, isn't it? And look at that thing here. The um, what's yeah, it called again? The trim setter, isn't it? Trim setter, yeah. It's amazing. So not all of them have that. You have a look around. So what I was saying to you is, you've got this guitar. It's the same as this one. But yeah. It, but it's Floyd or monorail. 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 Bridge. Something, something from really, in Tokyo. They're really great. And obviously this one's the same as this one, but again, monorail and Floyd. They, I was really impressed with these when, when we got them out of the box. And oh, wow, the finish is incredible. They're wonderful. They play super well as well. This one's a limited edition. And if I had to pick and run off and get arrested a few days later in a hotel room somewhere, this would be the one I'd be dragged out of the <laughs> hotel room with. <laughs> and on that note, um, so that's the RG Premium. All right, this is, uh, this is a name in Danish. This is a girl's name in Danish. Is it actually? Pia. Yeah, that's really, it was a popular name when I was in school. Really? There's a lot of girls called Pia then. Oh. So when I saw this, I was like, oh, maybe he dated a girl called Pia. Well, Every day is a school day. Married a girl called Pia. 
because the beer there you go. his wife's name is Pia. So Where's she from? Is she... She's American. I don't know what her, her background lineage is, but certainly that's her so that's that's name. Well, so there you go. So I was kind of right, though. Yeah, you absolutely were, without any prompt at all. Yeah. So what? <laughs> so this is, a new, this, is, this, is this is a brand new guitar for 2020. Yeah. Yeah. It's, this is not a gem. This is a new range. So the gems aren't going anywhere. Yeah. Gems have a life of their own. I think last year Steve was talking about maybe time to reinvigorate the gems or do something new and then clearly what's going to happen is they've gone well just make a new guitar let's make a brand new they didn't want to tamper with such yeah, heritage why, why, why change something that's, that's perfect for yeah. the stuff that for, certainly for Steve but for anybody who does that kind of thing yeah. um, you know and everybody if you love a gem you love, you love them all that's yeah, just the yeah, way it yeah. is yeah. so we've got the peer as I said before it is yeah. Steve's wife's wife? name man it makes and perfect sense what you've got here is an older body you have a maple neck, rosewood fingerboard. What's really cool about this guitar as well is the Damasio Utopia pickups. Nice, so, nice, so, nice. Yeah. <laughs> I was talking to Larry Damasio about this yesterday, and he was saying that he's all about making pickups that fit the guitar. Not just go, this, they sound a certain way, but suit the aesthetic, suit mm -hmm. the, the image of the person, even just down to their, their current album. You know, he's so conscious about all of that stuff. These, if you didn't know, nobody's heard these yet, um, but they are based on an evolution. So the baseline for these are the okay. Dimarzo evolution. And then you've got this lovely, kind, you know, like the dark matter pickups. It's that kind of laser cut stuff that's gone into them. They look absolutely stunning. So yes, you've got the, the new petal. What was the monkey grip is now that. The interesting thing about this guitar is the all the other gems were much pointier was sharp yeah all of that's been contoured yeah and then you've got this absolutely stunning stunning pier blossom inlay as well all the usual appointments you'd expect on a gem because you've got the last four frets scalloped so you yeah. can do the big Scalloping round so wee, 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 wee. circle 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 <laughs> <laughs> and i can see this goes this design here up here yeah here, and this is the really cool you flink that around over. here's something that's really cool Oh, oh yeah, that's access cool. Access to the back, baby. Boom. <laughs> that's so, great. Yeah, it is because all of my guitars don't have this on. I just yeah, take I it off. Yeah, me too. Have it. So, but it'd be nice to have it on. But who who wants to be screwing all the time? <laughs> it's day three. <laughs> <laughs> so it, that's that's the pier. It comes in four finishes, yeah. and these have all been named by Steve in typical Steve fashion. So you've got Sundew Gold. Which is a nice name. Yeah. This is probably my favourite. This is you know what I was saying though. earlier about the fact you see things online like pictures, actual physical and you're like, mm, okay. In the flesh, these are just like wow. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. So yeah, Sundew Gold, Envy Green. She's a bit like the green meany colour, if you remember the the old yeah, yeah. the old Vi guitar. It's very cool. Then you've got Panther Pink. <laughs> Panther Pink. Panther Pink. Panther Pink. Because of the Pink Panther. Because of the Pink Panther. Right Can I ask a question? Right My question is about the Whammy Bar. Yeah, I noticed this on the older guitars. Like I remember the Sat uh, Satch guitar that came out ages ago had this new sort of material on the Whammy Bar. Do you feel like, well, check, what do you reckon? Check the, the warble on it. If you can get close enough on it, look, I'm just literally doing, doing that. And you can kind of see. I'm virtually, I'm just touching the tip, Pete. I'm just touching the tip. Wow! See it's responding. <laughs> it's so day three. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. But, but is it? it but yeah, but it does. He, do you Responsive. think it makes a difference? It's just lightweight. I mean, uh, is it, what is the purpose so of I that? Say, I would say if 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 both Steve and Joe, or Mr. Vi and Mr. Satriani, <laughs> um, want it on their guitars, you know, that's their their sound and, and what they do is this is so integral to it. Yeah. Then it then it, it makes a difference. Yeah. They agonize over this stuff massively. I've never personally played one, so I can't say. But the purpose is better grip or? Uh, it's, it's, it's better grip, it's, uh, it's a greater warble because it's a lighter material, that, so that's it. That's right, it. okay, fair if, play. If, if the bar's right around here because you're doing other things, especially with Steve doing all that, and he wants to get it, he's just got to, the grip is better. Ah, uh, okay, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. It's very soft to touch, touch, yeah. touch the tip. Oh yeah, that's all right. Is that? It's tender but firm. Yeah. Tender pier. <laughs> tender pier. And obviously this one all the way over here is the same guitar. This one's stallion white. I mean, same white finish, which is the same kind of. <laughs> it would be rude not to, it wouldn't would it? It would be rude not to. Yeah. 
Yeah, but my favorite, I mean, what's your favorite? Color, color wise. Uh, the, the pink one for me. The pink one. I the, think. the thing for me is that when I was younger, all I wanted was a white and gold gem. Right. right. So it's so still my favorite. See, all I wanted when I was younger was the um, universe, the multi color, the psycho colored dipped. Oh, yeah. Because I'm the about a thousand thing. years older than you. <laughs> By the time I kind of got to that point, I was like, yeah, white gems are nice. Yeah. I, still, I still want one dipped. So yeah. that's why I've got the AZs. I want dip. Ah, uh, fair <laughs> play. A beautiful finish dip. A swirly finish dip. Yeah. If in Don't doubt, dip it. Dip it. Yeah, <laughs> dip it. Only the once, though. And then Day three. This is, the, this is my favourite, though. The gold, the, gold the gold one. Yeah, it looks good. It looks so really good. good. Well, that was a good one to end on, wasn't it? Yeah. So, uh, well, thanks for That's a lot of guitars. Oh, this, is a, you know, this stand is always a maze. And I remember me and Lee has gone, done it before, just us, and we're like, well, what's going on? And, you know, we don't know a lot of the artists. You've got How many artists have Ibanez got? Well, let think? me tell you something really interesting. The, the, obviously, this is the greatest, largest selling signature model guitar of all time, so, yeah. which is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. The second one is now Anita Strauss's signature model. Wow. Jiva. Yeah. Good for so, her. That's you know, amazing. Uh, I think that's Congratulations. That's yeah. It's a great guitar, by the way. Yeah. Great guitar. Wow. So there we are. And yeah, there's loads. Of, people always think of us, Ibanez as pointy guitar people, yeah. but George Benson is the longest running signature artist. Yeah. So and you've, got cool. the, you've got the art core and there's loads of stuff, you know, so hollow much. bodies and so, much. so if you are interested in if you like Ibanez or go on and you are into it to the jazz or whatever, there's there's loads of that jazz blues kind of vibe as well, yeah, isn't it? And real entry level and good quality entry level. Yeah. So you don't have to spend a lot of money Absolutely. to get a really nice hollow body guitar. Yeah. Well awesome. Yeah. Thank you very much man. We're going to move on and uh, you're going to finish your coffee. It's probably cold by now, but uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Don't leave me hanging. Bosh.